also collect the car and I gotta say that was a pretty fun experience going to that one one thing I liked about this one this con um, was that it's actually a little bit smaller than um, other cons you know I've been to really big cons I do like big cons but um, I like the small ones too though and this one was a little bit smaller compared to other ones which I did like I like how I don't have to like spend too much time there you know because honestly I was only there for like probably three hours or so around there and I was able to like look at everything explore around get autographs and stuff like that and there's her there was hardly any long lines to get like stuff to you know be able to eat their different concession stuff and all that stuff so honestly like i like the way small cons are uh where you, have to, you don't have to spend too much time there and all that you know you get to explore a lot too and all that you know so so it's definitely a fun experience uh, i believe in 2022 they're actually going to expand out more and try to go to more cities uh they've really only been to um two cities i think so far but um, I think they're supposed to be going out to more cities in, in 2022, so that'd be pretty cool. Um, they come back around, and um, depending on who they have there as their guest, might probably go again. You know, it was not, honestly, it was definitely a fun experience uh, exploring stuff there. Um, the way the way they had um like I I got to miss out like I didn't get to go, but they had like vanilla ice there. Those of y'all familiar with vanilla ice? He went on that Saturday though. I went on the Sunday. But he was only there on the Saturday, so I didn't get to see him. But I did see some clips and stuff that people were posting. Um, he was performing there too and stuff like that. Just a huge crowd they had there. So while he was performing, it was pretty cool. Um, so I mean, unfortunately, I missed him. I didn't get to go on Saturday, but I did go on Sunday. And they had the uh, they had Jason Page there performing the Pokemon songs. You know, he's the original singer for the original Pokemon theme song. Uh, so that was a pretty cool experience to see that him performing those Pokemon songs and uh, just overall a wonderful experience. But uh, let me go ahead and show you what I ended up picking up from the uh, con. So I did get a couple autograph pops there. You know, you know, got some of my pops autographed by some of the people there. Uh, so the first one was a name I just mentioned, Jason Page, who's the singer for the original Pokemon theme song. Uh, it's like super popular. Everybody knows it, you know. So I went ahead and got him signed to sign my Mewtwo pop right here, which is pretty cool. So um, I like the way he put it on there. You got to catch him all. You got a signature. And also too, on the side right here, he put the power that's inside, which is a line from the song, which is pretty cool. So honestly, this is pretty cool. I like that he was able to sign this in. Great addition to the collection. All right, another person that they had there was the uh, voice actress for Ash Kitchen. Uh, well, she's the current actor, voice actress for Ash Ketchum because I did meet Veronica Taylor who's the original voice actress for Ash Ketchum back at Fan Expo, but I saw that the other voice actress for Ash Ketchum, Ash Ketchum currently, uh, Sarah Natachini, uh, was signing there. So I wanted to get the Squirrel Pop signed by her. So here we go. We got Squirrel signed by the voice actress of Ash Ketchum, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's definitely pretty cool. Get her to sign that. Uh, another autograph I saw this uh, this actor, the voice actor for, uh, want to be there, and I almost went with a Pokemon pop for him to sign, but I decided to go a little bit different and get a Yu-Gi-Oh pop signed by him because he did voice uh, he voiced Rock in Pokemon, but he also voiced Kaiba in Yu-Gi-Oh. So I was thinking it'd be pretty cool to get him to sign the Blue Eyes White Dragon since that was Kaiba's most powerful card. So here we go. I got the Blue Eyes White Dragon pop sign. I don't know if y'all can see it on there because he actually used Sharpie. But um, it's signed by the Kaiba voice actor, Eric Stewart. If y'all able to see it on there, maybe. It's like right there. But he signed in Sharpie, so it's not like it doesn't pop out too much. But nonetheless, it's still a great addition uh, to be able to have him sign this. I thought the idea would be cool to have him sign a Blue Eyes White Dragon since he voiced Kaiba. And it was Kaiba's most, one of his, uh, Kaiba's most powerful cards. So that was pretty cool, I thought of to do. So yeah, this is definitely a pretty cool pop to add to the collection. All right, and the last one I ended up picking up um, was definitely one I've been wanting to get for a while. Because uh, I like this character in the show. Definitely a pretty cool character. Uh, so what we got, we got the Dobby pop sign by the voice actor, Jason Lee Brick. So that's pretty cool the way he signed it. And also he put a quote on there. I forgot what this says, but it says, never trust a hero. So that's pretty cool. He put on he put that on there and also signed by him and all that. 
So Dobby Pop sign. Great addition to the My Hero Academia collection. But yeah, those are all the pops I will show y'all. Uh, show y'all that got ended, that ended up getting signed at the con. Uh, but like I was saying, it was a fun experience. I like the way that's like a smaller con. It's not really huge or big or anything. You're able to like explore stuff. Um, be in line. There's not really too many long lines there either. And just overall explore things and stuff like that. I like how you don't have to be there very long to be able to look at everything and all that. Which is pretty cool. Uh, so definitely a fun experience. And like I said, if they come back around in town, um, I'll definitely go again. So yeah, definitely a fun experience. But um, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Remember, if you want to be a part of Team Legendary, all you got to do is subscribe and turn notifications on so you know when I post another video. Hope you all have an awesome day. And remember, be legendary.